So, um, lots of questions online about what I use to cure my models or my, my prints in general. Models, surgical guides, um, uh, Google guards, you know, dentures, what, what have it. So I have two different, this is my little station that we use to process our prints, um, both for washing and for um, the actual curing process. So our wash tubs are put away in the cabinets for now so it doesn't just clutter the, the, the bench or the desktop or counter or whatever. <laughs> anyway, so um, that's why this little magnetic spinner though is here. So really we have two different curing stations. Do you need to? You don't. I guess I like to spend money on Amazon, so I have two. Um, one of them is fairly simple. It's a uh, 54 watt um, uh, nail uh, dual nail, nail curing bed. That's really what it's used for is for killing acrylic nails. But the same uh, wavelength, the 405 nanometer wavelength, is what we need for most of the 3D printers that most of us are using in dentistry. There are other ones out there, so make sure you know. But um, for instance, the Form 2 and the Moonray printers both uh, cure at 405 nanometers. So, um, so for printing models or uh, yeah, printing and curing models and things like that, it's super simple just to throw these in here. Okay. Now over here, I've actually got a little timed power switch. I can have it on whatever setting I want. Um, got this from a friend Vu Lee. Just recommended it recently. It's it's great. We can set it on a thirty minute timer, and now I can just click on, or sorry, click it once and it doesn't do its own time setting. If you look up top right here, there's a two minute, three minute, and five minute. But I like to cure it without thinking about it, so I just leave it there and let my little power switch do the time. So, you know, whatever, 30 minutes, that way I can leave the office and not worry about it. Um, I like to have models printing and cured for 10 minutes, just so I know that everything on the outside is pretty well cured. Is it critical? It's not in the patient's mouth, so it's not as pivotal or critical, but I still do it. So that's for models um, and, and other larger objects uh, and I would say volume printing because I can fit a lot, I can fit eight models in there fairly easily. I can even fit more things depending on how cozy I want to get things together. But this is where I print my surgical guide or cure my surgical guides and occlusal guards. It is, uh, it's a, uh, composed of two different um, nail curing beds but they're more of a single curing bed. If you look it is simply two of them stacked together, end to end, taped together. The bottom of them come with this little slider, so it would slide in and out just like this. So we simply take them out and now it's an open clamshell. If you look inside one more time, you're going to see that there is a little turntable in here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the power to these. There's two little buttons on the back. And you can see that if you wait just a second, you see that turn start to turn. It's a solar powered turntable. So I can place a number of surgical guides on top of here. And I can easily fit four or five or six different surgical guides on there at a time and let them all cure. Now, when I leave them in the lab, we'll, have, we'll just take one of the little slide out trays and just set it over top of there, just getting more reflection of the light into the prints. And so, set it aside, it does its thing. Once again, if I set my timer for 30 minutes, I know it's not gonna keep going any longer than that. I like my surgical guides and occlusal guards to be at least 30 minutes to an hour if possible. Um, but yeah, that's about it.